Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a catchweight contest. It's over six five-minute rounds of two falls. Two submissions or knockout to the side. In the red corner, the epitome of sartorial elegance. From Hexall, let's give him a hand. Six rounds, five minutes each round. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide. Mick McManus, the European middleweight champion, at 12-7. Cat Weasel, his opponent, from Hexthorpe, near Doncaster, at 13 stone. So the tallest and the heaviest slightly, but very little. Right, you know, no rules, shaking it, aggressive with all those defenders. Referee Joe Dorazio with his pep talk, and any second now, the bell will start round one of six rounds. First round. So Cat Weasel in the striped trunks versus Mick McManus. Interesting to see if Cat Weasel starts any of his uh, comedy tricks against McManus. McManus will really get mad early in this bout. Remember, two falls to decide this one. so far. Trying to turn him now by opposite arm lever. And the trunks. Uh -uh, until the referee came around, he was thinking of it. And he's got Cat Weasel back to canvas, but can he get the shoulder blades down? The arm's in the way, I think. His own arm was preventing it. Still the back camera on. Pressure against the ears. McManus least favorite moves. Operation on the ears. side had luck to big manners. says Joe Dorazio, the first word he's had to give him all the afternoon. Lifting that 
Beckhammer from the top. He's got the height. McManus forcing him back to the ropes to get the break. But he can't resist the follow-up. Only a slap, so the referee lets it go. Just one minute left in this first round of six. McManus should never try those. Giving away this amount of height. The only trick work, worked on him, that, that short-range jab. But he'll start those insults before long. Fifteen seconds. That arm lever really pu pulled right back against the joint, but the bell could save Cataways right here. Delighted to hear the bell there. That left arm was pulled right back against the joint. His opponent, McManus, furious that the bell went, went at that particular moment. He thought he had him. Cat Weasel, Gary Cooper, his real name, from Doncaster, 13 stone. Turn pro, 1970. McManus arguing with the crowd. Seconds out, round at two. Round two, five to go, no score. Two falls to the side. Cat Weasel versus Mick McManus. McManus must start the short range jab soon, especially with the ear treatment. from the crowd where McManus is thrown out of the ring. It's pretty unusual. of grabbing the back of the trunks there. Joe Dorazio watching that point pretty carefully. Before the man was up. The recording for the second one. I am here, ladies and gentlemen, McManus has received his first public warning. Not so terribly unusual, of course. He, he, he always lands one, if not two. Trying to cool that reason down a bit. McManus 
looks down complaining to me that he got a punch in the jaw there but of course he starts this rule bending he must expect some retaliation under two minutes to go in the second round McManus slows it down on it bit now by grabbing that toe hold and the folded leg of uh, Cat Weasel's left which is bandaged and obviously worrying a little bit but again the grabbing of the ears saves him suspicious but couldn't prove it just a couple of seconds now only we shall save cat weasel on this round She's on there. Obviously a, a great grappling fan anyway. So anything can happen here and the crowd sense it. Second out, round of three. So the start of this third round with four to go. Cat Weasel wasting no time at all. Cat Weasel, the long blonde hair, the beard, and the striped trunks. The crowd screaming for him to get at least a four. That's a submission. The submission, he's got the first one. Oh, the loving that. Five seconds into round three. That's exactly what the packed crowd here at the Brent Town Hall Wembley wanted. Now the question is, can he continue that and stay on top with the remaining few rounds? McManus not happy at all about his left shoulder, but he's got to go any second. Second down, round four. Round four, three to go. And Ken Weasel leading McManus, towering in the corner there by one fall and L. A submission, of course, counting. As a now, this is where McManus brings out the big guns, the short range jab. Yes, he's so good at that. His timing is perfection. Oh, he caught that one back on the. just below the shoulder. And the straight arm lever against the joint over the shoulder, and yet he's got in the submission before. Trying it again, but this time, Kelly's on this time, and landed on the apron. That could have been a nasty one as he held the top rope, stopping himself going out, or trying to, but he landed on the apron, and I think that could have caught his back. It's the left leg that's worrying him more than anything. That's left knee that's bandaged. 
Getting a lot of trouble now, Treviso. And McManus knows what to go for here. Crowd don't like it, but it's all legitimate so far. Single leg boss and that could be in the equalizer. It has a submission.